Hey students, so let's look at the basic illustrations of statistical numbers. So the first thing in which we can illustrate numbers is, for example, a pie chart. Pie chart shows the distribution of things, for example, this portion and this portion. Okay, um, the second graphical illustration is this. This is called a bar chart, okay? So we can use uh, the bar chart for various things, also to show a trend, but also to compare values, for example, this and this value. The third thing, which is also our main focus today, is the line graph or line diagram or line chart, okay? So this will be our main idea today because what we can see here is a trend. We can see how something develops. So let's, look, let, let's take a look at the language of how something develops. The first thing is the overall one. Okay, this one goes up. On the other hand, this one goes down. Okay, so we've got two or three nouns that we can use. For example, we can say there is an increase. Or the opposite, there is a decrease. And out of the many, many, many words that we can use to talk about trends, these are the most common ones. So we have an increase, which means like this, or a decrease. We could also say a rise and a fall, okay? Now, we can also say, um, for example, the number of people who have a driving license has increased. The number has increased. So in this case, this is a verb. Here we have a noun, okay? So here, the number of people without a driving license has decreased. So you can see that here again we have a verb. Now the next thing that we can comment on in this context is how much has it increased and how much has it decreased. So for example, the increase could be like this, could also be like this. We could call this here a very mild, very often we also call it a slight increase, just a little bit, okay? This one here might be called a steady increase. Last but not least, this one here is a very steep increase. In scientific language, we often call it a significant increase. So these are the words that we could just add here. There is a, in this case, a significant increase. There is a steady rise in that, okay? Now, these words here are called adjectives. And when we talk about how we do it, these words change into an and verb. For example, we can say, it has increased significantly. This is simply because we say how it is done and it describes the verb. Whereas here, it describes the noun, okay? So we have an adverb when it describes a verb and its action and we have an adjective when it describes the noun in more detail. Okay, so the language of charts and graphs and trend language is important for all fields in engineering and science and academia in general. So it's worth knowing these words. Please learn them now.